This is a short flick through review of mathematical methods for physics and engineering. Um, if you're doing a physics or engineering degree, undergraduate degree, this is um, likely to cover all of uh, the topics in applied maths that you're likely to need. Um, it's quite a thick tome. As you can see, it's uh, over 1,000 pages. Um, so there's a lot in there. And uh, let's start by looking at the index. Um, there are a lot of subjects covered here, and it starts at sort of an A-level um, uh, level preliminary algebra, uh, preliminary calculus, <clears throat> uh, and then it moves on to complex numbers and uh, hyperbolic functions, uh, series and limits, partial differentiation, and then we move on to multiple integrals, vector algebra. What else? A matrices, vector spaces, vector calculus, um, line, surface, and volume integrals, Fourier series. In, uh, integral transforms, and then we get to move on to differential equations, different ways of solving uh, differential equations, quantum operators, partial differential equations, calculus of variations. Um, then we move on to other subjects, and I'm sure you can discover those by reading about the book and looking at the uh, contents online, tensors. Um, I just want to give you an idea of what, what's covered, probability and statistics. And so let's move to um, one of the chapters and see how it covers what it does. So, for example, let's look at series and limits. So this is fairly typical of a chapter in this book. It will uh, start with um, a fair bit of text um, explaining the um, concepts and then building up gradually and um, becoming more complex as it goes on. Um, so it sort of introduces new topics as it goes along and it very quickly gets quite complex. Um, every now and then you'll see one of these grey boxes. That is a worked example. And... Uh, and it really goes into quite a lot of detail. Um, you know, it's not just a quick look, uh, you know, as you would expect for a book that has um, as many pages as this. It's not just a quick look at the subject. It, it, uh, it goes into quite a lot of detail. I would say it's not for someone looking to be spoon fed. I mean, if you're new to it all and you struggle a little bit, perhaps the Stroud, um, Engineering Mathematics and Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Stroud would be a better place to start. Um, this book doesn't spoon feed you in the way that Stroud does, but it does cover uh, a lot more um, in terms of subject and depth. Uh, but, you know, if you're just sort of trying to cram for an exam or something, Stroud is probably a better bet. Um, but if you want some insight, more insight, and sort of deeper insight, then this, that's what I would say this book is good for. Um, and so you get the idea. It sort of builds up on the subject. And then at the end of the chapter, there are exercises. Um, where are those? So we've got some exercises here. And uh, you... Can see that you get exercises uh, at the end of the section and then you get uh, hints and answers for the odd numbered questions. Uh, now that that we've just seen there on series and limits is pretty typical for the for the remainder of the book. Uh, that's how the book works. Um, it is a very useful book to have on your shelves. Um, if uh, you are a physics or engineering student, uh, and as I said before, it will cover pretty much everything that you are likely to need to know. That's it. That's the review of this book. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to the channel um, or press the like button. Thank you very much.